I was excited to see the new avatars on Xbox. And I chose the waves with the fade, right? That <laughs> <laughs> boy got that virus. Yo, what the fuck? Microsoft, y'all was down bad. Who the, my dude. Gentlemen, gentlemen, welcome, welcome to my abode. You know, try to fix out the place for you guys so when you come around, you know, there's nothing uh, precarious for me here. But hey, enough chatting. We're here for the Xbox showcase. The Kane Supercut, that is. Pretty much gonna go through the entire showcase. I'll tell you what's hot, tell you what's not. And one thing to remember, my word is law. We are not discussing this. Thank you. So you'll have to allow me here because I uh, started the recording a bit late. The showcase has been going on for quite some time. But hey, I can run into the programs that already aired. It'll be seamless. It's like you didn't even miss anything at all. And we can start this with Doom. Doom is uh, is always good. I mean, there was gameplay and it looked kind of sick. I have some, fa I have faith that this is gonna be probably the best one. I mean, they just take the concept and keep refining it and refining it to perfection, giving us more weapons, more ways to convey the violence. And it seems this time, my nigga, we got vehicles. You busy playing around here with the dragon, bro? Yes. Bro, we out here punching demons in a mech suit, brother. How can you not be hyped for this? This one also seems to be a prequel, some more lore on the whole Doom guy. He's always appreciated. So in terms of the Kane interest, that's a clean 5 out of 5. Next, State of Decay 3. Who were you before? Who did you love? State of Decay series, I'd say, is like one of the most underrated zombie games, especially the first one, to be honest. And you know, after like two's, you know, like I wouldn't say lukewarm, but it was very much a sleeper. People didn't really pay too much attention to it. So I was kind of like, you know, you know, that's it. You know, the State of Decay is kind of like it's gonna take, it's gonna be in the back burner for now. They're actually making a third one, so I'm really happy with that. This coincides pretty well because you know, zombie games are kind of like, uh, I don't know. They're not in a pretty good place right now. <laughs> Niggas is starving. Niggas is starving. And if Microsoft can serve up these buns, boss, then we're gonna be eating good right now. Now, we didn't see too much gameplay, but uh, hopefully I feel like as the, we progress that they'll give us a bit more, you know, gameplay. Show us, you know, some new mechanics and stuff. Cause honestly, this could be a banger. This could be the zombie game to kind of fill the void that's gonna be left. You know, everybody was kind of hoping for the day before. And we all know how that turned out. <laughs> Kane interest. That's a 4 out of 5. Next up, Dragon Age Treadwolf. Brother, let me open this real quick actually for you lot. This is one of the worst Dragon Age trailers by far. Now, a few people in the audience have watched Dragon Age like trailers. You know how gas they are. It's a dark fantasy RPG, you feel me? They always bring it home. But this it looks like Valorant. What the hell is even that? What the hell is even that? What the hell is even that? Now, of course, this, this could mean, this doesn't mean that the game is going to be bad, but this art style is already throwing me so off. And I'm going to be honest, this is really much with uh, Bioware's last chance. If Bioware does not pull through with this, sayonara, bro, it's over. We ain't getting Mass Effect, and I'm probably going to kill myself. I mean, damn, look, all the comments are literally 
They don't like this. Look at this. What are we? Some kind of dragon suicide squad? Look. Oh, yes. Baldur's Gate 3 looks more like Dragon Age than Dragon Age itself. Look. Most of the comments are saying this looks like shit. Honestly. Wow. These traders used to send shivers down your spine. Now it looks like a mobile game exactly what i was even saying from the beginning they used to do it so well what are they doing do they want their studio to shut down are you sure this is dark fantasy i didn't even see this bro people don't like this listen i even checked the situation on the official page it's not looking good so from what i've gathered from this trailer is the tone's not right the graphics look weird and with the tone of this game it feels like we're getting another hero shooter for single player does bioware just want to die are they, they i think they just want seriously this is their last chance they've had back to back to back flops they cannot mess this up listen i'm just gonna say this right now i'm probably not gonna play this game like at all like i was excited before it but after seeing this <clears throat> No, I just pray that this is good for the sake of Mass Effect. If this f***ing thing flops, Mass Effect could be done. Can't help but feel that EA was in Bioware's ear with this. To divert from this dark fantasy type to a hero shooter-esque themed and toned with the f***ing annoying characters and sufferable dialogue, it's like, what? This sh** better be good for the sake of Mass Effect. So with that um revelation i've been in a bad mood i won't lie to you some of these games we're just gonna not spend five minutes like the way i did right now a bit of rapid fire if you will let's go world of warcraft haven't played it don't care it's probably a dub metal gear solid this is probably gonna shock you please don't shoot me i've never played a metal gear solid game in my life i bought five i haven't touched it <laughs> but most likely it's probably a dub sea of thieves more content we love that dub age of mythology now no this is where i need my strategy is to be on the chat because the last time i played a strategy game was like bro 10 years ago plus so strategy is this a dub is this not a dub actually i don't even know whether this is a strategy game <laughs> diablo 4 no frog punk no let us close online no microsoft flight simulator honestly yeah i want to give some, some advice to xbox right now flight simulator does not need a whole section in this showcase next time do a blog post it'll get the same reaction same views act on fall literally just a cgi trailer rebellion what are you doing assassin's creed no the bethesda ones probably dubs but i haven't been too invested in recent bethesda games so i wouldn't know is it a dub put it in the comment section but i guess it's content so dub Alright, so we're done with the ones that I don't kind of care about slash know enough about to care about. So from now on, we're moving at a normal pace. Now the new game reviews in this Xbox show have been scintillating if you ask me. A lot of meat to bite into. They've just been revealed today. It's already a great sign that they have this hooks to them regardless of any gameplay being shown. Anyway, we might as well just start mentioning them. South of Midnight, a nice looking action adventure game. Beautiful art style. Especially like how these giant animal set pieces look. Very well designed. The combat is... Uh, but maybe further reveals may show more depth whatever clear obscure a turn based for the lads the art style here is also amazing i mean it's kind of giving like elden ring vibes here the color palette to me though is a bit it's a bit drabby it feels a bit dry but whatever as long as the gameplay is fun we're on that winter bara i mean a comment says it well <coughs> don't starve for mice i need to keep an eye on that one. we also have mixtape this one's a bit weird though i can't lie i can't quite pin it for what it's supposed to be but this game is like so good to look at and also it has some crazy ost that's about to come through it's kind of tuned to my taste so i'm probably gonna be on that i feel like if you're a life is strange uh, road 96 kind of person this might be your groove so you might hop on that and is that sekiro too Hey, for all the masochists, you might as well save that one. Me personally, I like my life, so I'll pass. Uh, check the time, actually. Let me check the time, actually. No, we still have time for one hating session. Can someone tell me why Fable traded their signature art style for a generic Square Enix photorealism art style? It's like you trade in your main call sign that distinguished you a lot from the competition. For what? An inferior art style? You're telling me there's no way you could have upscaled said art style to modern machines without trading in its soul. I feel it just took the path of the least resistance, to be honest here. And gosh, does it look horrible, to be honest. Not horrible that it looks bad. I mean, it's photorealistic graphics. We're all 
all gonna gawk at that. Jesus Christ, how much is Xbox gonna bank on that being a pulling factor? And all this was a CGI trailer with a couple walking sessions. Yeah, let me talk to her about the fucking mechanics of the game, what it's going to entail for the most part. I know the craziest Fable fan, but I appreciate Fable too. But I've been keeping a side eye on it for a while, and right now, I wasn't convinced then. Jesus Christ, I'm not convinced now. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, we have arrived at the late half of the video where we're now doing the glazing. We did a little bit of glazing at the beginning, but right now, whew, baba, I'm about to go ham. I'm about to pause. Cod. Now, before you don't, I know what you're saying. You know, Cod has burnt us more than once. I'm gonna reserve a little bit of faith that they might not f this one up. I mean, they're talking about making some of the missions more open-ended, bringing back round-based zombies, overhauling the movement. They were kind of buttering me up with these words they were throwing out. So I'm gonna be optimistic but realistic. They could fuck this up. Perfect Dark. I mean, how long has it been? The last one was Xbox 360, but that's nearly, that's like an entire generation ago. So it's good to see Perfect Dark back. It's good to see our star girl back. And I mean, it's looking spiffy. It's looking spiffy. Must play, obviously, that one. Indiana Jones. It's looking decent. You got a little bit of a cutscene here not too much gameplay but i'm liking what i'm seeing it seems like the tone is not taking itself too seriously you know still has that 80s charm which the film is based on <laughs> this might shape up to be some cool stalkers 2 Hado shinobu metro fans We've been starving. Let's just keep it a buck. I mean, there was a Metro game that was just announced recently. And we was holding our breath like, oh, oh my god, is, is there a new installment in the series? Blah, 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 blah. It's a VR game. It was a VR. It, oh my god. So this could be a good alternative. But aside from that too, the Stalker games are like some of the best Survival horror. games out there. And hopefully this one doesn't disappoint. Either way, it's on the radar. Gears of War E-Day. Woo! Woo! A legend returns. Now this is gonna be a little bit subdued because this was a cutscene again. You got zero gameplay. Oh, come on, my boy's on screen, bro. What you want from me? I, I gotta celebrate a little bit. They said, they said they're gonna reveal a bit more, so I'm kind of waiting on that. Hopefully the gameplay is good. But so far, it's looking decently spiffy. And last but not least, Life is Strange Double Exposure. Now this one I was actually spoiled for by a friend, so I I was already kind of aware that. Maxine Caulfield was gonna be back by the time I was already watching the trailer. But Lord have mercy, am I excited for this one? All new supernatural murder mystery! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, Maxine! Oh my god, these niggas was in the kitchen. This character model is a cook up and a half. Damn, hold on, Maxine. I'm gonna cook you a little too good. Hold on, I, I never looked at you like this, but damn, I'm saying she got, she got a body. Hold on. Short backstory one of the biggest Life is Strange fans. And I'll start off by saying that game is by no means a perfect game at all and you know what most of the negative critiques i'm with you i agree but right after agreeing with you i'm gonna have a second serving of that life is strange a third one a fourth one and i'm mainly talking about the first one here by the way and we can talk about how like original that art style was in 2015 the beautiful music that accompanies it the writing is bad not all the time but it's kind of in an endearing way to be honest but when it happens it's so endearing that i can't help but love it i mean my I got, I got the collector's edition right here. I paid 75 for that hole. I could have waited a little longer and got it on eBay for like 30, but I'm impatient. <laughs> so yeah, Maxine is back. I mean, these graphics are looking spiffy. Spiffy. Now hopefully if they can, you know, start experimenting with that little time traveling mechanic, give us some pretty good set piece areas, and keep the music as fire as it was before. We are here for it, my N-word. I found my friend's body in the woods. Ah damn, what is wrong with this b**** luck? Like Maxine has one of the worst luck I've ever seen. First is Chloe getting shot, now it's her getting shot. Like god damn. And by the way, I haven't played like past Life is Strange uh, 3. I just saw a bunch of randos, I was like, I do not know you! True Colors and the third one are probably decent games, but... I... Uh, no. <laughs> Full disclosure, this is my whole bias at work. This is like the highlight for me, bro. This was a great time to just bring up Life is Strange back. And it's not a rando, so... We are going down. So, I mean, that's pretty much the Xbox showcase. A little chart of the things that I uh, specified in the video. The X are games that I f hate the hyphen are games that i either know too little about or i'm kind of on the fence and the ticks are games that i'm full-fledged 
full erection on that. So I mean, all in all, this has been, I'll, I'd say a pretty good showing. And I'm surprised it's Xbox doing this. I would say the highlights, honestly, mixtape, Life is Strange, BO6, State of Decay 3, South of Midnight, Doom, Gears of War, Indiana Jones. I can't hit it like I did yesterday. Winter Barra, Perfect Dark. That's a really healthy ratio. The rest is whatever. It's up to you, man. If you fuck with it, good on you. But I'm also happy that there's a good amount of variety here. You know, there's something for everyone. Not frog punk though. We got some for the strategists. We got some for the masochists. We got some for the single player them. We have something for the multiplayer them. We have an actually good looking hand based combat game. We up! We up! We up, Carla. Final score for this whole showcase, brother. That's like a. That's, that's almost an 8, but I'd give it like a 7.9. Some of these niggas had many more gameplay, but they have enough of the hook to pull me in. So that's okay to me. You watch the new reveals with baited bets. Maybe I'll even do some videos on that. But hey, thank you for hanging out with me for this Xbox showcase. God damn. Thank God we did not come here and waste our time. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, join, join the other. I don't even have a name for you. Uh, the kind, the Canaanite, the ca the Canaanites. That's kind of hard, look. It's kind of hard. Whoa. I'm using that. I'm using that. Join the Kayla Nice right now. We're recruiting. Trying to eat a hanji before summer ends, potentially. I'll see you guys later. Take care and have a good one. I need to take a shit.